Hello and welcome to another episode of Fully Charged. Now this is another news update because boy oh boy it's going crazy out there. First, a bit of history. Yeah, a proper actual historical event happened on the 9th of May. For the first time since 1882, we burnt no coal in the UK to generate electricity. OK, it was only for a few hours, it was at night during a period of relatively low demand and high wind and all the usual caveats, but we burnt no coal for the first time in 134 years and the lights stayed on. Then it happened again and again at various periods over the next few days. So I think we should say, even if it's a bit premature, that this is the beginning of the end for burning coal in the UK. Now, we are well behind other European countries in this regard. I mean, Portugal stopped burning coal altogether in 1994. In fact, Portugal ran on renewables alone for four days recently. 100% renewables for four days. To be accurate, a non-stop period of 107 hours, which is 4.45 days. All day and all night, all the time, when the sun wasn't shining at night, 100%. I'm just underlining the fact. It's a fact. 100% renewables, 24 hours a day, a whole blooming country. Oh, Bobby, it's not possible to power a whole country on 100% renewables. Everyone knows that. <laughs> well, Portugal has done it, OK? Only 4.45 days, and yes, yes, all the usual caveats. It was windy, it was sunny, but they did it. It is possible. Now, in 2014, Portugal produced a full 63% of its electricity from renewables. Now, if we did that, we'd save billions a year in imported fuel costs. Silly green fascist Portuguese. Silly windmills. We all know we need to keep burning coal. The Koch brothers have told us. Yeah, well, forget the cocks, because in Germany, some consumers are being paid to use electricity. Now, I mean, that sounds bonkers. Surely not. They had so much electricity coming from renewables the other day, the price went negative. In this case, minus 130 euros a megawatt hour. From 7 a.m. until 5 p.m. a couple of weeks ago, electricity went beyond cheap and into a totally new realm. Producers were screaming, Will you please put on your tumble dryer? Turn on the fan oven! Charge your bloody electric cars! There's electrons flooding into the streets! Now, a lot of this is down to the inflexibility of the old grid, the inability to turn off coal and nuclear quickly, and a new technology relying on an old infrastructure. But it certainly illustrates that having massive amounts of renewables is going to make increasing economic sense. And now, here's a few names of wonderful people who've supported Fully Charged on Patreon at $10 or more per month. There's so many of them, I'm going to have to split them up over several shows. So I just want to say a massive thank you to Ajlan Saeed, Ryan Demmer, Zeb Halleck, David Thomas, Robbie Stahl, Rob Mercer, Rob Pickering, Matt Wagner, Alex Lawrence. You're all utterly brilliant and I actually genuinely love you. That's all for now. If you have been, thank you for watching.